Hey friends, how are you? I hope you're having a great day today. Today we will be creating this solar eclipse artwork in celebration and in honor of today, which is August 21st, 2017. I thought it would be fun to put together this short and sweet video on how you can create this artwork. So these are the supplies that you will need for this particular project. You will need a dark piece of paper. This piece of paper is a piece of cardstock paper. You will need some chalk pastels or you can use sidewalk chalk that will work just as well. So if you don't have this particular type of chalk, that's okay. You will need some tape. You will need some scissors. You will need a handy dandy pencil. You will need a template and to create a template, this is a template, to create a template you will need some sort of a bowl or some lid that you can trace to create your template. And to create the template you'll need a piece of paper. So this paper right here was attached to this. So that's basically what you'll need and let's get started. Alrighty friends, so the first thing that you'll want to do is create a template for your project. And a template simply means a guide for you to trace for your solar eclipse project. So what you'll want to do is find some sort of a bowl or a plate or another piece of paper that is round and, and that will fit on your piece of paper that you're going to actually do your artwork on. So I chose this bowl because I like the size. I'm going to turn it upside down and I am going to put it at the edge of the paper and I'm just going to trace it just like this and it makes a nice round circle. You can try to create your own circle but as a human being it will be really hard to get a perfect circle. It's up to you. All right so what I want to do next after I trace my circle I want to be very careful in cutting around my circle on the line. Do the best that you can just like this. So I'm going slowly and carefully. Almost finished. Thank you for being patient with me. Alrighty. Put that aside. Now we have our template. So what we're going to do is we are going to put it down on our piece of paper and if you'd like to tape a little tiny bit onto the back to help you hold that in place, that would be a good idea. So I just tear a tiny piece and I roll it up and I put it in the middle and then I flip it over like this right into the middle of my paper. All right, now I'm going to take my chalk pastels and if you don't have chalk pastels, that's okay. Just use sidewalk chalk, that will work also. And I'm going to choose my white. Ooh, this is a new pack. I haven't used this one before. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go along the edge and I'm going to press pretty firmly along the edge on the black paper, just like this. I hope you can see this line okay. Sometimes chalk pastels break too and that's okay if that happens. I'm going to go around a couple of times and I'm going to try to be really careful with this. See how I'm doing that? all the way around. I like that. Okay. I think that that's thick enough. You don't want it too thin, but you don't want it super thick either. Now all you do is you take your finger and you hold your piece of paper down with the finger that you're not going to use to spread your chalk. And if you don't hold it down, sometimes this could slip around and then it'll, your artwork will not, not turn out like a solar eclipse. So hold that down and take your finger and just pull out like that. See how cool that is? Just pull out. So go along your line and pull out. You push down onto the chalk and then you pull out. Wow, that looks really cool. All right, now I'm going to, going to go down this way. I'll go a little bit faster, but you can go slowly if you'd like. Keep in mind, I'm holding this down. I do have a little piece of tape down there. However, sometimes it still slips. 
Okay, I'm almost done. We go all the way around. Just like that. All right, now what you can do if you see any spots that you'd like to go over again, it's not going to hurt your piece of paper, your artwork, if you go over them again. I wouldn't go over and over and over 10 times, but maybe two times would be fine. You just wanna make sure you get that effect. There we go. Oh, love it. Okay, so what we do next is we take our piece of paper, our template, and we pull that up. And the little piece of tape should be still stuck onto the bottom. And there you go. There is your solar eclipse art project. Hope you had fun. See you next time. Bye.